In this problem it says each of the positive perfect squares less than 10,000 are written on a card, one per card. Donita picks one of these cards at random. Determine the probability that the card Donita picked has a number that has a that is a perfect cube written on it. Express your answer as an integer or as a common fraction. All right. So what are the perfect squares? Well, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, and we go all the way up to 10,000. Now, 100 squared is 10,000, and we don't include that one. But we do include 99 squared, and that is, that's important for our answer. Because 99 squared is 9801. So from here to here, these 99 numbers, 1, 4, 9, and so on, the question is how many of them are also perfect cubes? Well, if a number is a perfect cube, and a number is a perfect square, that means that each number is a perfect sixth. So, for example, 2 to the sixth, we can say that this is a perfect cube because it's 2 squared cubed. We can also say that this is a perfect square because we can say 2 cubed squared. So 4 cubed and 8 squared. So the question is, how many perfect sixths are less than 10,000? So let's try it. 2 to the sixth is 64. So that works. 3 to the sixth, 729. That's less than 10,000. 4 to the sixth, that's 4096. Now, of course, 1 to the sixth, we can't forget that, is 1. 5 to the sixth is 15,625. That is too big. That is over 10,000. So, these four are the only numbers on our list that are perfect squares, because you can take the square root of all of them, but they're also perfect cubes. So, therefore, they're sixth. So, that means out of 99, only four will work. So, there is our probability. And we're done.